Hello and welcome to this workout which is using a Pilates ring. Um, this is a pretty inexpensive piece of equipment you can use at home. Um, I think quite a few of us have them lying around and bought them on a whim and perhaps don't use them but they are really great for giving you feedback um, and also for working the inner outer thighs making sure that you're in correct alignment and for getting some good stretches. So we're going to include all that in today's workout. So we're going to start standing, okay, so our feet are hip distance apart, coming straight out of the, the hip joints, and we're going to hold the ring so our fingers are long, so I don't want you to grip it, I just want you to hold it so you can feel a light engagement across the shoulders and across the back. So we're going to inhale as we lift the ring up, and then exhale down. So inhale, lightly squeeze, but no tension in the neck or the shoulders exhale down good so in don't lock those knees out make sure there's a little bend on them and out good two more and last one good so now let's add in a little bit of balance we're going to externally rotate from the hip so the heels come together the feet the toes go out i'm going to raise the heels if you can okay so we're going to come into a plie squat so as we slide down that imaginary wall we squeeze the ring and we release it as we step up okay if this is too much just um, with the heels together on your knees just widen the feet slightly till you get into more comfortable position okay so let's do 10. Woo. so we Inhale, exhale. Good. Three. Okay, so we're sliding straight down. Bum is not going out. Ooh, you're trying not to fall over. Four. Five. Six. Squeezing that ring in. Seven eight, nine, and 10, hold down, pulse in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift up and lower the heels. Good, next, let's put the um, ring just above the ankles. Okay, so using the pad so it's in a nice comfortable position. Our toes are facing forward. We're gonna take all the weight into the right leg. We're gonna lift that left leg up and squeeze the ring in. So for 10, nine, really feel a warmth around that outer hip. Seven, six, five, four, three, don't grip the toes with the supporting leg. Two, one. Come through center, lift the um, other leg. We're gonna squeeze in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down. Okay, inhale here, exhale, nod the chin to the chest, flexing over, using those abdominals, to roll down, let's collect the ring and rolling up. Excellent, and we're now gonna come down onto the mat. Okay. I'm gonna put the ring in between our thighs. So it doesn't wanna be on the knees. It just needs to be in a comfortable position. It's not comfortable because it's working hard, but it shouldn't hurt. Okay, so hold on behind the thighs and roll down. Okay, so we're gonna go into some hip rolls. So our feet need to be facing forward. Okay, our pelvis is in a nice neutral position. We've got that little gap between our lower back and the mat. Our arms are long, our collarbone is nice and open. We're gonna inhale to prepare. Exhale, gently squeeze that ring. And then rolling up, tip in the pelvis, articulating through the spine. Try not to roll out on the feet. Keep the weight even through the feet. Rib cages down. There's so much to think about. Inhale here. 
and then exhale coming down from as high up as you can in the spine and releasing completely at the bottom and releasing the ring so let's do three more like that inhale exhale keep that ring squ um, squeezing in so we should use our inner thighs when we're doing hip rolls all the time but by using the ring it really makes you think about those muscles and release good two more you start to be feeling it now i know i am and down and last one and down okay so now i want you to just come up to the top i'm going to hold here i'm going to squeeze the ring in for 10 little pulses nine eight keep those ribs down pelvis lifted squeeze the glutes five four three two one now lift the heels 10 more 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 lower the heels and roll it down great job so you should be feeling it now on those inner thighs it's just a really good one to really activate those adductor muscles okay let's move on to the abs so we're now going to use the ring to support the head so it needs to go at the back of the skull so not on the neck you know it needs to be there's a place where it fits quite nicely okay you'll feel it but just as long as it's not around the neck so our hands are going flat on the opposite pad our pelvis is neutral okay so keep it nice and flat like we're balancing our cup of tea or glass of champagne on there we're going to inhale exhale lifting up into our ab curl so the ribs are gliding down towards the pelvis and then we're lowering down okay so you really do feel the weight of the head by using this you will feel this in your tricep muscles okay but i don't need to pull the head okay it's just resting there and using the abdominals to lift you up good exhaling up nice neutral and down we're doing slow and control to make sure we're really focusing on those abdominal muscles let's do five more good four three last two and last one good now take the ring out we're going to take our left knee to tabletop okay and we're going to push the ring put the ring on the on the thigh and we're going to push down for eight seven six five four three two one now we're going to lift up and over so feeling that oblique muscle and squeeze the ring again eight seven fingers long six five four three two one and down let's change legs right leg in pulls down four eight seven six five four three two one lifting up coming over really feel that oblique engage and squeeze in four eight seven six five four three two one and down good so we're going to use the ring now for our one leg circle so you need to if you can put the ring upright and it's going to your foot's going to be the back of the ankle is going to be resting on the pad and then lie down and sort of adjust your body till the ring's stable okay our other leg is coming either to a tabletop position or if your flexibility allows a straight leg arms can be um, long on the mat for the support or if you have the strength and you can keep your pelvis stable during this exercise you can take your arms up to the ceiling okay so i'll start down here we're going to circle the leg 
around and down and up. Okay, so remember, the essence of this exercise is to keep the pelvis as still as you can using the abdominals drawing down into the mat. Okay, and it's as if we're going around in a circle like the, the circle we're using. Okay, so the knee is staying in line with the foot. And let's go the other way. Good, so if you have a straight leg, so you go down and round and up. Good. Two. I definitely don't have as much control with a straight leg, but I can feel my abdominals working really hard to keep me stable. And last one. Just hook that knee in. And then we're gonna to switch to the other side. Good. Okay, getting set up, making sure you're nice and stable as you can be. Okay, so right now the ring is just acting to make us more unstable to work those abdominals harder. Okay, take your position of choice and we take the leg around and down and up. Keep breathing. No tension in the upper body at all. Okay, all that work is focusing on those deep abdominal muscles that give us a really big, good base for our core. One more. And then go around the other way. So down and round and up. Two. Three. Four. Last two. Five. And six. Okay. Just let the ring fall and hook those knees in. We're up from side to side. Excellent job. Okay. So let's go back to those thighs and this time we're going to work the outer thighs. So we're now going to step inside the ring. Okay, so it needs to be on the outside of the thighs. Again, not on the knees. Okay. So outside edge of the thighs. Feet are coming in and are parallel. Hip uh, our feet are hip distance apart. I'm going to go into our shoulder bridge exercise now. So we're going to pick the pelvis up, straight up now, no articulation. Push the ring out, loosen and down. Okay, you'll really feel this in those outer thighs. So let's do 10. So we lift, push, release and down for two. <sighs> Keep that upper body nice and, and, and relax. Three. <sighs> Four, keep the ribs down, hips, hips up with those glutes and hamstrings. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good, so pick the pelvis up. Now let's push out into that ring for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tap down and let's take the legs out. Okay, I'm just going to roll up to a seated position now. Okay, and the ring is coming in between our legs again. Okay, so um, we're going to do a kind of like a modified half roll back roll up exercise. So we're going to squeeze that ring. So not super, super, super tight, but you should feel those inner thighs engaging. Sitting up into a vertical position. We inhale to repair. Exhale, squeeze that ring as you articulate through your C curve. And you're going to go down to the mat. Arms overhead. Inhale here. Exhale, squeeze that ring as you come up to vertical. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Down. And then inhale, arms to the ceiling. Exhale up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release at the top. Excellent job. Let's do three more. Really get as much of a C curve as you can. And up, last two. Shh. 
And last one. And up. And release that ring. And just come into a little butterfly stretch. Oh, I can certainly feel my inner thighs now. Good, so let's come into a diagonal, diagonal, seated position. Okay, and we're gonna use the ring for some thoracic rotation. So we want to be in a nice vertical position. Now you can't see, let's turn that around again. Okay, and the ring is coming onto the base of our skull again. So we're gonna use it for some thoracic rotation, so rotation from the ribs. I'm gonna make sure that we're keeping our head back by pushing it into the ring. Okay, so we're gonna inhale to prepare, exhale, rotate just from the ribs and back. Okay, if you need to come into a slightly bent leg position to be vertical, you do that. Good. So the key here is the, is the thoracic rotation, not having straight legs. And we wanna do that with a vertical spine. So we don't want to be scrunched down here and twisting. We want to be in nice alignment before we start the movement. Good. Keep pushing the head back. Let's do one more either side. And last one. And then unhook the ring and just wrap it around the toes. Okay, we're just gonna use it for a little hamstring stretch. So we're gonna do like a spine stretch forward. So we flex over the feet. And then I want you to straighten the back. So you come into a little back extension and pull those toes towards you. You should feel a nice stretch all up the back of the, the legs. And then flex, unhook the ring, rolling up. And we're gonna come into a four point kneeling position. Okay, so we're gonna take the ring out onto a diagonal now. Okay, so our hips are under, uh, our knees are under our hips and our, the one wrist that's, that's resting on the mat is under our shoulder. Okay, we're gonna glide the opposite leg back to the one you've got extended. Okay, lift those abdominals, keep the back nice and long and we're just gonna lower and lift for eight seven, six, use the gluten hamstring to lift the leg, four, three, two, one, okay, bring that knee in, now we're just going to push down on the ring with a straight arm for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, okay, leg comes back out, Lift it up, bend the knee, flex the foot, pulsing up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, there was one more set of those pulses down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, let's go to the side. I'll turn around so you can still see. Okay, so getting into that nice setup position, making sure that back is long, the neck is not dropped. You're gazing to the end of the mat. L extend the opposite leg up and we lower and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bend the knee, pulse down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, leg goes back, lifts, bend the knee, flex the foot, pulse up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back in, last set of pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, and then just widen the knees and sit back into a rest pose and breathe. Allow those hips to open. One more. Coming up, one of the final exercises. So we're gonna use the ring for some sideline. Okay, going back to those inner and outer thighs again. So we're gonna put it between the ankles. I'm gonna lie long. Okay, so making sure we're not collapsing in the waist. Okay, that top hip's pushing it away. And we're not gonna push too hard with this top arm. Okay, so nice and relaxed in that top shoulder. We're gonna just lift and lower the legs for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold up and squeeze in with 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, and down. Great job. Let's go to the other side. We've really worked our inner and outer thighs today. Okay, getting set up. Okay, no collapsing in the waist. We lift and lower. So really squeeze that, or try and squeeze that ring as you're lifting up. Making sure we got a whole of the legs engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then just let's push yourself up to a seated position. So we're gonna sit cross-legged. Just take the ring out to one side and we're just gonna lift up and then lean over as we get a lovely side stretch. And breathe. Coming up, change it to the other side. Good. And coming up, and you are done. So there you have it. Um, just over 20 minutes of um, pretty much a full body workout, but paying particular attention to the inner and outer thighs using our ring. So I really hope you like that. Um, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I hope to see you again here on the channel really soon. Take care. Bye.